Hi folks, it is Thursday the 9th, I do believe. I have not looked at a calendar because we've been busy. Jerry and the girls were out shopping and um, everything's been going great. Yesterday we spent a better part of the afternoon doing crafts and whatnot to put together t-shirts and things that we're gonna give to all the guests. Jerry Ann got some uh, gifts earlier today that she, I don't know where they went, but she put them on her video. I'm going to try to, I'm trying to do a few things while they're out. One of the things I'm gonna kind of surprise her on because it was a request for me to do because I'm tall and whatnot and I'm gonna to try to do it here in a little bit, is she got a nine and three quarters platform shower curtain and some owl hooks that I'm going to try to put up. And of course, while they're gone, I'll relax a little bit. Sound like something just got dropped by my door. Maybe I got another package. But um, it's been good so far. Tomorrow we're going, or they're going to go into the city to pick up um, Jerry's two besties, Lisa and Sharon. The heck was that noise? Oh, ice maker just started uh, doing ice and whatnot, so you hear the water and whatnot. I I think everything's going good. Jerry seems to be very happy with. The fact that she's got her her sisters here and her two friends are coming. We haven't gotten the whole house decorated for the party because of hiccups. That is life. Life happens. Um, so, I have a feeling the rest of this afternoon, once I get back, is going to be finishing up the crafting and doing the decor. Um, at least that's what Jerry wants. Because she wants to have it all done by Friday evening. Um because she wants to spend Saturday, Sunday, and Monday just having her birthday, which I'm all for. But, you know, Jerry Ann, joke, Jerry Ann and I jokingly talked about my birthday. Not in the fact of that, like, I'm not going to be here for it, which I can't say knock on wood because I got very little wood around me. But the way things are right now, I could be here for another 10 plus years. 20 plus years. Um, my health is in, in good to fair condition. No serious issues. So, but we were joking about it and she goes, what kind of birthday do you want? And I just kind of went, what? I don't understand the question. She goes, what kind of part, what style of party do you want to have? And I just kind of went, well, if I had to have my birthday party my way and I had to have a theme, which I kind of want, it would have to be a Renaissance style birthday party. You know, Renaissance or Viking. I, I would even love to take, and I think the nearest new, uh, I would even like to go and do my my party at the Renaissance Fair, which happens right around my birthday, anyhow, in Kansas. And I think there's one here in, in Missouri that it's a small one, but I, I would do that a small one. Or go to Medieval Times in Kansas City. That's me. Um, <coughs> I really personally don't want her to go through the hustle or the, the I don't want to call this insanity, but the just the process of trying to turn my house, the interior of my house, into what looks like a Renaissance castle. Um, two reasons why. One, there's a lot of stuff hanging up on my walls that I just don't wanna have to rehang once I pull them down. Um, that in fact, I mean, granted, this room alone, because it's got the big old hearth, um, partial brick wall, it's just a factor that, hey, let's just, let's do a 360 of the living room. All right. You've got the wall behind me, which is, you know, minimal. 
whatnot. Then you've got the gallery wall of pictures of friends and family members. My Arcadia door, my, you know, TV area, the hearth, the little hutch. So, to redecorate this whole room just for Renaissance, too much, just too much. But anyhow, her birth, her, the, everything, the setup, the party, whatnot, so far, the only hiccup is just the factor that we're behind her schedule. I don't set schedules. When it's my personal time, I don't set schedules because you set a schedule and God laughs. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know, but she's gotten some, she's gotten a lot of gifts and whatnot. In fact, somebody sent her a, I'm trying to think of the words, picture box set up. That she can set it up for Alvander's Hogsmeade. You know, it's a nice little box that you can, it's got all its components for a chair, a, a table, a bunch of, you know, like small books and decor of one form or another. She was surprised and she was happy about it. So, I don't know what the I don't know what the girls are, or how far along they are, but it's if she was just calling me about fixings for drinks, um, she could be up the road at the liquor cabinet. She could be up at Walmart. Don't know. But I want to get started on this one project soon. But before I sign off, I want to show you two things that I got from Wish. The first thing was a mask, uh, another mask that I ordered before I got fired. I got it, ordered it like maybe within the second week of a COVID situation. I like this mask. I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put it on. I've already tried it on. It's perfect. It's the right size. It covers my face. It has mesh breathable material with a particular type of, um, Filter, I've got extra filters from a mask that I gave Jerry. But I like this one because not only does it go over your ear, but it Velcro's in the back and it's not, it, the other one, the reason why I gave it to Jerry Ann was it felt very tight on my face because the nose guard on the other one was metal. This is a very flexible rubber type material that won't hurt my no the bridge of my nose I think it's perfect, it's it's great. It's breathable, it's lightweight, it's mesh material so it don't, it won't make you sweat as much as regular neoprene. The other thing I got which, when I ordered it, I didn't think I was gonna lose my job. I didn't think I was gonna have to trim my beard or cut my beard or cut my hair or anything like that. So I got another, I don't know if you can see it through the plastic but a bigger, a longer beard bead. Um, when I opened up this package and realized what it was, it was after this. And let's just say I had a torrent of emotions between anger and sadness and just, like I said before, you make plans, God laughs. I made plans for this. And I got laughed at. Not because of the fact that I had the beard and whatnot, because I had my one sister-in-law, my wife, people from work that were customers that knew me. They liked the beard. They thought it looked great. Now, the people at work, they could have been saying that just out of nicety, but my family... Not my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law from New York, if she didn't like it, she would have been like, oh, you look better without the beard, blah, blah, blah. You know, that, that's fine, Danny, that's great. Um, that's one thing I do like about my in-laws. <laughs> they cut you, they will cut you to the quick if there's something that they just don't like about you. Or they'll joke and make fun of whatever it is they don't like about you. It's fine. 
I kind of expect stuff like that from some of my family. Not all of them, but my my in-laws mostly. <laughs> um, not to put them down or anything like that. But all in all, everything's going great. Um, yeah. More updates could come probably tomorrow. I am not going into St. Louis to pick up uh, um, Sharon and Lisa. I'm staying here at the house to enjoy some quiet. And maybe, depending on what Jerry asked me to do or how she asked me to do stuff around the house, I will try to do stuff around the house. Um, I'm looking at the house right now and going, that's all uh, birthday stuff, that's all birthday stuff. My couch, which um, I'm not complaining about because it's lived on. It's like I said about my house, it's lived in. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to redo this video. This is the second time I've been called to be interrupted. I could have swore I put it on do not disturb mode, but I guess not. Um, it's fine. This one's shorter than the last one. My house is lived in. And I, I don't complain about it unless it's like, and it's a, it's a clutter that could have been taken care of, but it didn't get taken care of. Like my couch, we have everything on the couch that we need. We have our remote controls, our snack, uh, a couple snack, healthy snacks, peanuts and whatnot for Jerry, notebook for writing stuff in mail that has to get dealt with things like that on the center part of, in the in between me and jerry as well as a footrest that has a blanket a throw pillow stuff that we use on a regular basis the only time i complain about my house is when i can look around and go it's just a clutter of stuff that that nobody wants to deal with and I understand that Jerry has her, her limitations and whatnot, and she focuses primarily on her YouTube and whatnot, which I can't complain on because I'm starting to do the same thing, even though she's complaining about me doing it. I'm not going to turn around and complain about what she does. But my thing is, right now, I feel slightly embarrassed because I've got guests coming over. But the only reason why I feel slightly embarrassed because there are things out and about that have nothing to do with the party that could have been dealt with. I'm content. Oh, no, I'm not actually content. I'm actually happy that I can look around at my house and go, yeah, I might have made this mess. Jay Ann might have helped me make this mess. But you know what? It's a house that's lived in. It's a house that's loved. It's a house that has love. I just wish there was a little bit more time for other things besides, you know, work and whatnot. So I can, not other things, um, just time in general to take care of all the things that need to be taken care of in a given day. We can't always take care of everything that need to be taken care of in one day. Problem is, is when you live in a house, you might take care of the clutter on the couch or the clutter on the coffee table one day. And then within 24 to 48 hours, you turn around and go, I could have swore I cleaned that up. That's life. It's not like our house looks like an episode from the old TV show called Hoarders. <laughs> no, I won't let it get that bad. Um, those people have issues. We, we all have issues. I'm not trying to point out or use the TV show Hoarders to give an example. I, I just It was the first thing that popped in my head. Um, I, I do what I can. Jerry Ann does what she can. Mom 
she keeps her herself, so most of her mess is in her room. Um, and then right now, because of the fact that we're having a birthday celebration, and there's a lot of things going on because of that birthday ce celebration, that it's going to look a little disheveled. Yeah, disheveled is the word I wanted to use. But, you know what? Don't matter what your house looks like. It could look immaculate, clean, ready for the Queen of England. Or it could look like, um, let's just light the house on fire and let the fire take care of the problem. You know. Not saying that I'm going to go burn down the house just because it looks like who done it ran. Everything can be taken care of with the right amount of time, the right amount of patience, the right amount of teamwork. I've never looked at this house and went, oh my God, it's a disaster. Now, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm not blaming anybody, I'm not saying that my in-laws, when they were young, growing up, destroyed their house. But my father-in-law's old house, I, I, I give great respect for because one, it was not really built for people to live in. It was built in the neighborhood as a showpiece, as a, this is what we could build for you since this is an upcoming neighborhood type house. It was designed as a demo, demonstration house. My father-in-law and his friend bought it way back when, way back in the 70s or something, or 60s or something like that. And they bought it understanding it had very little to no installation. It was a demo house to basically try to create the neighborhood type place, type house. Um, and it was lived in by the couple upstairs and then the family downstairs. And what I mean by the family downstairs is my in-laws. Four girls and three boys plus a couple cousins. And and my, my mother-in-law's mother, basically. My great mother-in-law, I guess you call her. I don't know. My wife's grandmother, basically. You have that many people living in a house that has two bedrooms, one bath, an open concept kitchen, living room, dining area, and a closet that they had the, the, the dryer in. And then an outside utility room with the furnace, water heater, and washing machine. By the time I got there, and they lived in it. The living room floors, which were all hard, the whole house was hardwood floors. The living room floor was missing a couple slats, buckling, things like that, which happen over time. And you're living the equivalency of a block from oceanfront property, basically, from the beach and, ocean, and, and Island Park. Things like that happen. It's what happens when you've got a load of people living in a in a shoebox basically it happens now yeah they could have worked on it to keep it cleaner they could have worked on it to do this they could they could have done a lot of things but it's kind of kind of hard to do when you're living on a what did my father-in-law call it a shoestring budget trying to feed 11, p 11 plus people with a pot of pasta, a jar of homemade, a jar, or not a jar, but a homemade spaghetti sauce and fresh cut or fresh caught seafood, which no wonder my, my, my wife doesn't like crab. She likes fluke and flanda, but that's about it because that was a seasonal thing. Understandable. It's life. But I've seen worse.
I have literally seen worse. Never been in worse, but I've seen worse. Um, we do what we do to live what, what, with what we got. Now, I understand that some people have more than others, but some people have less. I look at my life going, oh man, I wish I had that. Oh man, I wish I had that. Oh, oh man, when, when can I get something like that? But then I think to myself, you know, there are people who look at me going, I wish I had that. I wish I had his vehicle because it's, it's in one piece and runs properly and doesn't make a lot of noise. I try to look at both sides of the coin because if I don't look at both sides of the coin, I will literally sit there and go, I'm not happy. Why aren't you happy, Jim? Because I don't have what I want. Well, what do you want? Well, I want a new pickup truck. I want an RV. I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to do that. Well, why can't you? Two reasons why. Excuse me. One, I don't have the money for it. And I know how to get the money. And I try to get the money. I work hard. Two, maybe it's not in the plan for me to have it. Maybe I'm not meant to have an RV and go traveling around the countryside that I want. Or maybe I'm not meant to have enough money to go over to Europe and, and, and fulfill bucket list items. I don't know. Every time I work hard and I start getting the money, something happens. I get laid off. Jerry has to go to the hospital. We take a trip that costs us more than we realize. Whatever the reasons are, I don't know. I can't sit there and go, well, I planned it out and I had everything ready. What happened? You made a plan, Jim. God laughed at you because that's not what he wanted for you. Hey, I don't know. But in the end, we're all happy. We're all alive. We've got our necessities. We've got a roof over our head. Food in the refrigerator. Good, good loving wife, good loving family. I've got basically everything that is of importance or necessity. Shelter, food, love. What more could I really, really ask for that's necessary? Not much. I wish I knew how to go out and get my own food. And I don't mean go to the grocery store. I mean, nature has a pantry. There's fish in the water. There's deer in the field. There's soil to grow vegetation, vegetables and whatnot. I just don't have those skills. Other than the skills, I've got everything I need. But anyhow, um, before I get another phone call and get interrupted and make this two 15 minute videos, um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put it in the, in the comment box. Uh, if you're not a subscriber and you want to be, click on the subscribe button and a bell will pop up. You can click on that bell and the bell will basically, or YouTube, not the bell, YouTube will basically let you know when I put in a new video. Until next time, have a good day. God bless. Enjoy. Be safe. Bye.